Yeah, so before we begin, I just do want to mention that today I will be attending this event, Blockchain Forum India, Mumbai, 27-28 February, Novotel Hotel, Juhu, Mumbai. So I'm going to attend this conference maybe sometime in the afternoon. Watch out for it. I'm going to be going live a couple of times just to show you guys if you're not attending, just to show you what exactly is happening there. It's a blockchain conference, a lot of speakers, different ICOs are also coming up. So it'll be exciting to meet so many people out there and understand where this cryptocurrency space is. So make sure you hit that bell icon and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, there are a couple of news that I want to cover. The first one is, of course, the mobile payment app Circle acquires crypto exchange Polonius. Polonius is one of the oldest cryptocurrency exchange I still remember. It was the only cryptocurrency exchange that used to exist when there was when you had to buy it altcoins and there was no other so poloniex is being acquired by the circle pay which is funded by goldman sack we'll talk about that we also will talk about the payment race so amelie aris Emily is participating in the money 2020 acr race now what exactly race is all about basically this race is all about you have to survive the race on one payment method. So let's say, for example, if you choose cash, if you want to travel from Singapore to Bangkok or wherever to whichever country, you cannot use more than one payment method. So if you choose cash, you have to use cash. If you choose Bitcoin, you have to use only Bitcoin. And one such race is happening in, in the month of March. Emily is a participant. We will talk about that. And she's going to use Bitcoin, which is like exciting once again. There's this guy who says that cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin is a gamble. And then he also teaches people how not to pay for anything. I'm not sure whether he's talking about the fiat money to be gambled or cryptocurrency to be gambled. And one of the questions that I usually get from people is that what happens to your cryptocurrencies when we die? Because we own the private keys. And what if we die and there is no one else who knows the private? There is an ICO happening for that as well. Weird. There is an ICO for everything. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back to Crypto Conversation. My name is Shiv. This channel we talk about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, blockchain. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. This is not a financial or investment advice, just my personal opinion. Let's go ahead and get started. So, the breaking news: the Poloniex is one of the oldest cryptocurrency exchange. So, if you were trading in some time in 15 or 16, you would know about Poloniex. Poloniex has been sold out to app circle for 400 million dollar and when i was digging into it the goldman sachs is the one which has actually owns circle has funded these three companies circle pay for fiat transfer circle trade as a liquidity provider for cryptocurrencies and upcoming circle invest an app that will allow retail customers customers to invest into crypto market okay so this is what it says. The Poloniex exchange offers trades in 68 different coins and is diff is currently the 14th largest cryptocurrency exchange by 24-hour volume in the coin market cap, trading a total of almost 140 million today. One of the significant news that I see here is that now, since Binance has been ruling big time, Binance is right now the number one cryptocurrency exchange. Will this? Will this? Takeover by the Goldman Sachs company will put Poloniex on the number one position that we will still have to see. But that's quite possible that all the cryptocurrency exchange have a good competition now, right now because now Poloniex is backed by a very, very strong traditional company. So we'll have to see what happens. It says we also look forward to scaling Poloniex to up and through market ac expansion and localization, increasing token listings where possible and appropriate, and exploring the fiat USD Euro GBP connectivity, connectivity that Circle already brings to its compliant pay trade and invest product. So of course it will have a fiat gateway as well, and they are talking about three different fiat gateway: USD, Euro, and GBP and it will be big if that's what happens right this is what the circle pay is all about it says no fee no markup nothing to hide travel between dollar euro pounds for more coming soon guys i do think now poloniex might just turn into the number one cryptocurrency exchange in the coming days you never know that let's come back to this topic here 
So Emily Aris prepares to defend Bitcoin's title at Money 2020 race. So what is this race all about? Basically, this race is organized by the Money 2020 Asia. Uh, what it means is that the participant, whoever is a participant, has to travel from point A to point B choosing just one payment method. Now, so if you talk about this one, it says Emily Aris will look to defend Bitcoin's crown in the upcoming Money 2020 Asia payment race. So she has already won one race in the month of September, October. I don't remember, but I was I was updated on this race, which was happening, which is fascinating when you are supposed to live on just one crypto, uh, one payment method. And ultimately, eventually she was the winner. So it goes to show that there are enough people who are accepting Bitcoin as a payment method, right? Today, you think about living on Bitcoin for about a month or so. It's going to be difficult, right? Uh, unless and until you have support from the community. And it is it goes for the same for cash also. It goes for the same for the card also. So a couple of participants that you have here, it says the in which Mr. Mrs. Eris will attempt to cross Asia solely using BTC. The five-day race is scheduled to commence in Hong Kong on 10th of March during which Mrs. Alice will exclusively transact only in Bitcoin before arriving at the Money 2020 Asia conference in Singapore. She says, my experience from previous payment rate showed me firsthand that acceptance at a merchant level is not what I can rely on to win. Instead, I will be using Bitcoin for what it was originally designed for, which is a peer-to-peer -peer currency because not many merchants are accepting Bitcoin as a payment method. Using the power and enthusiasm of crypto community, I am determined to win the race. Let's support her guys. You can actually do a video and put it on your Twitter account and put it as hashtag Bitcoin, which, which, and that way you'll be able to, you'll, you'll be showing your support for this, for this race wherein you are saying that you are supporting Bitcoin as a payment method. So some of the uh, payment method that they are part going to participate, they will be competitor as there will be one cash, there will be a card, there will be gold. Uh, let, let's over here it's mentioned. So the race will see Mrs. Aris go ahead to head with competitors representing gold. So there is be one person who will be only traveling with gold. The one person only traveling with cash. One person only traveling with only cards and only one person only traveling mobile payments and mobile payments and the last one Emily traveling with Bitcoin. Whom do you support choose to support? Let me know in the comment box below. You can also go ahead and tweet with hashtag Bitcoin. Now this guy Matthew Leske says cryptocurrencies are a gamble and a scam. Of course, this is an old guy. He says the US author who have made himself a name in the 90s writing books on how to get free money from the United States government claim that cryptocurrencies are a scam and Bitcoin is a gamble. Talking to CNET, are you serious right now? Are you serious? Are you saying cryptocurrencies are a scam? And you look at what, so I was actually looking at his YouTube channel, right? So this guy has also has a YouTube channel. Let's go who runs his own website, YouTube channel and various podcasts. Let's have a look at the web, uh, our website. Uh, says that many people are interested in blockchain and cryptocurrency, uh, but he recommended these people to stay away from digital currency unless they have money to lose. The free money guy elaborator, you are playing with sharks right now. This is beginning of something and no one knows it's here. Cryptocurrencies are actually a scam since they are not backed by anything and not regulated unlike the US dollar. Well, probably he doesn't know that the US dollar is also not backed by anything. Probably he doesn't know about the Federal Reserve. He has not done his research guys. He doesn't know where this US dollar is printed. He doesn't know that Federal Reserve is actually not a government organization, it's a private organization which is printing trillions of dollars every year, which is decreasing the value of dollar every day. It turns out like it's a Ponzi scheme. And look at his channel, what is has to say? He says, learn how to not to pay for anything. Learn how not to pay for anything. That sounds like a scam. I mean, you have to pay for everything that you have every product and service that you use and you're showing people how not to pay for anything that reminds me kind of a banks as well because banks is something that they don't pay for anything they use people's money so you're right you're right i know where you're coming from you cannot do that with cryptocurrencies 
this is something that you cannot teach in cryptocurrency you have to pay for everything my friend so you're talking about the fiat money that is a scam i got your point man wow so this is the last one it says what happens to your cryptocurrency asset when you die safe heaven as an answer a lot of people do question that what happens to my money because cryptocurrencies you have a private key you have a public key you can access nobody can else access and what happens if you die this is the question that i've heard from so many people and you know what somebody was hearing to these questions and came up with an ICO for this called safe heaven now i'm not going to go ahead and deep into it what exactly safe heaven is what are they trying to do but the point i'm trying to make is there is a ICO for every idea there so there are ideas no solutions yet guys so this is a, you if you have a beautiful idea you can just put it on the paper and you can do an ICO whether you will be able to execute that idea nobody really questions so this is an ICO which they are going to have from 24th of february which basically talks about how to be safe in cryptocurrencies even when you die what do you have to say about that i mean it is as simple as sharing your private keys one of the loved ones right isn't it but anyway leave your opinion in the comment box below what do you think about the safe haven ico and definitely check out make sure you hit that bell icon so that when i go live in the conference i will try and speak to as many people as i can try to show you what exactly is happening around there and uh yeah stay updated thank you so much for watching guys hit the like button if you like the button uh if you like the content subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in my next video